Hello, and welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Business Analytics. What's new in OBIE 11.119 for Oracle BI users? This What's New is going to focus more on the end user perspective. There's been a few changes in the key terminologies, and most of that has been tied to Oracle Scorecard and strategy management. Additionally, there's been some enhancements in the ability for the custom exporting and printing through BI Publisher. Uh, there's a little bit added in managing accounts, allowing you to look for uh, deficiencies and unlinked accounts in the presentation side. The final areas that I'm going to be focusing on are more in the analysis and dashboard side and the selection steps component that is listed there. From the selection steps, we've always had the ability to override with a prompt. In 11.109, we've been allowed now to use variables, whether they're the presentation variables coming from a prompt or the session variables or repository variables coming out of the RPD. This is very handy in that we're able to create a little bit more flexibility for the selection steps in managing of the drilling through and into a hierarchy data within the dashboard. Also new is the ability to do some unique features. We've been able to save selection steps. We've been able to save filters. But now we have the ability to actually save custom columns. While I'm an advocate of moving column definitions into the RPD, there's oftentimes the need to get that definition done and, and be able to build the dashboard. Here, we now have the ability to create that custom formula for a column and then save it. So as you can see, I have a, using an S-based cube as my data source, I have the intersection, and I want to focus in on the scenario being actual for my with my measure. So we're using the filter on. And once I have that column built, I can then come through and do the save column as. What this does is it puts it into the subject area contents within the catalog. So then when I'd like to use it, I can start a brand new analysis, open up the catalog options in the lower left side of my screen, navigate down to the subject area contents and my subject area, and there are my two columns. And I can add them in two different ways. One is a copy, which basically then is it looks like a standard column or as a standard add, and you can see that it's coming from a catalog object. Also new is the ability to preview by applying a style from the style sheets associated with OBIE. Within the dashboard property section, styles can be set for the whole dashboard collection. Our standard look and feel that we've all been used to in the Fusion View or the Fusion FX style is that kind of rounded edges, the gray top, and fading into a white, a little bit of a drop shadow look with the rounded tabs. New for 11.119 is the Fuse view, and it's kind of a, a more clean white, sharper edges. Tabs are more tabbed instead of slanted. A nice white background, sharp borders around the sections. Now Skiros originally in 117, which is the top screen, we have the slanted tabs and we have the, the hard edges. And it, it's a basically a, a modification of the fusion with the, the section boundaries being a little bit more generic white. Uh, but in 11.119 you can start to see our section boundaries are now still framed the same, but we have a difference in the tabs. The tabs are now more squared off and you can see that our headers don't have any of the underlying that is showing up in the, the prior version. Also Skiros Cloud, which basically takes away the, the section boundaries, so we have a white border to the section boundary, but we still keep the same squared off tabs. New in the analysis interface is a new visualization. And this comes right out of BI Cloud Services. This is the tree map. This tree map was introduced in the BI Cloud Services, and much like Oracle's uh, progress forward, new features will be added to BI Cloud Services and then brought down to, to the on-premise version of the software. The tree map allows you to basically make a display 
that uses size and color to help tell the story of your facts. So in this case, I'm doing my margin percent and my profit percent uh, for my facts from the, the analysis that I built, and I am doing the groupings by the product category so we can see that the, the size increase and then the color change based on those two metrics. And that's the layout screen. And here's the, the view screen of that visualization. So when it's on a dashboard, the user can interact with it and then the display would be a hover over and the values would become present for that portion of the tree map. The search within the subject area allows a business user to quickly get to columns of interest. In this case, we're searching for any column that may have the word order. When we do the search, we can find columns that are facts, those in the gold, or the dimensions, or the hierarchies. Some of the enhancements within the dashboard section can be seen in the comparative view between the 11117 properties and the 11119 properties. In this case, you can see in 11119 there's the added export options and the advanced page properties. The advanced page properties allow the incoming parameter default scopes to be applied on each page. The enhancements to print and export can also be seen in the comparative view between 11117 and 11119. With the exporting capabilities extending to allow the inclusion of the charts, the images, and formatting. Additionally, the ability to check off allowing print to HTML or PDF, current page, or the whole dashboard.